Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to another Star Mage Showcase. In this case, we're showcasing a couple of logic templates that I've put together with the new display module features and functionality and all kinds of fun things. Um, and in this case, it's going to be with uh, using commands or creating commands um, to be able to control different logic systems all over your ship, all over your station, whatever you want to be able to control. Um, there will be tutorials coming out at a later stage on how to actually build these circuits yourself. But as you'll see soon, they are quite large and slightly more complex than we can cover in a, a single tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump into how we can actually load them up, use them, set them up and all that sort of fun stuff. So you can start building some really cool command structures. So we'll jump in here and in low, uh, in advanced build mode, we're going to go to load and we'll go to command CMD basic input computer. And that template is loaded and we'll hit paste and we'll paste it over here. And there it is. Nice and pretty and all kinds of fun and it's slightly larger than probably what you expected, but that's okay. So the first thing we need to do is before we do anything, we need to fly around to all our panels, hit R and then hit OK. And that's because sometimes it doesn't quite load it in when it's um, ready to refer to it using the sensor. So this does have a sensor block in it. It's right there. Um, and in fact, while we're on this side, we actually do need to start the clock for this sensor. And it's this blue delay block that's glowing here, far bottom car, far bottom corner rather. And there we go. We've started it like so. Uh, the way I've structured it is for the uh, these computers to be able to uh, actually drive the clock for all the other panels, so you don't have to deal with hundreds of clocks or <laughs> however it would be if uh, you end up with heaps of uh, different command panels. So there's only one clock, it's in, or there's however many clocks as you do have these input panels. Um, but for now, um, we'll jump in with setting up our first command panel. And that's going to be over here. This is a basic face for, for force field, basic force field for our uh, different things. And it's sort of what we'll do for a lockdown. So if you want to lock something down, uh, we can just execute a command to do so. So we're going to hit paste and we're going to spin it around until we have our block next to it like so. And you can see everything is labeled um, with what to do. Uh, at the back of the basic computer panel, it also has labels. At the back of this panel, it also has labels. Um, so essentially what we do is on the front panel for this uh, command panel, we label what we want this to respond to. So in this case, we want to have it respond to lockdown. So when we type lockdown, we want this to actually toggle. Now, if we fly to the back, you'll see it has a, a number of uh, things detailed, but essentially the bottom two are used for inputs and then the AND gate is used to allow us to create sub commands. So uh, we'll get into that when we get over to the doors over here. And then the activation module is used as our output. So in this case, we want to connect the activation module to our flip flop so that it toggles it. And now on the back of our basic computer, we have a couple of buttons here. So the button in the middle with the display module on the top, that's for our main commands. So any commands that aren't sub commands. And uh, we'll, again, we'll get into that in a second. On the right is the output for sub commands. So when we're issuing sub commands and the difference between them is a bit of formatting um, in order to actually break up and determine what the commands are. Um, but also slightly the timing to make sure that your uh, main command is uh, read before your sub command so you know where you're sending your sub commands to. Um, and then the one on the left is actually feedback so you actually know whether or not your commands actually been accepted. Um, if you're on one side of a station and you're issuing commands for another side of a station, you kind of want the feedback so you know whether or not it's been issued. So same with our activation module on our command panel going into the flip-flop, we're also going to put it into that button there for our feedback. And that is the basic setup. So if we fly over to the front, you can see this is where it says enter command, press R and type. It's literally that easy. 
Um, so in uh, as a refresher, our command is lockdown. Or it could be force field, it could be whatever we want. So we'll position ourselves so we can see the force field there. And we're going to enter a command to type. So if we type a command that we don't have, so in this case we'll type um, explode and hit OK. You'll see it says processing command, please wait. And then it's going to come back saying unrecognized command. Um, and that's because <laughs> there's no command for that one. But if we go in here, we'll hit R and then we'll type lockdown. You'll see we type lock down there, processing command, and unrecognized command because that makes complete sense. And that's probably because we haven't actually taken our main output from here and actually inputted it. And we want to input it to the bottom two, like so. So we're connecting it to both our tutorial display module as well as the activation or the button as well. And let's give this a second go. Type in lockdown, hit OK, it says processing command. Oh, and command accepted, our force field's on. And then it resets again, so we can type lockdown again, and it will toggle it off. And there we have it. So it resets, and we're ready to go again. So it gives you really good feedback, so you know what's happening and when. And it literally was that simple to connect things up. So let's do it with a door with one subsystem. Our subcommand. So we'll go load our command panel again, and we're going to paste it, and we'll paste it by our door here, and we're actually going to paste two, one on top of the other, and that's because this uh, could be a hanger, it could be an area. In this case, we'll go to our bottom panel, and we're going to say it is the red hanger, or just red door, because that's easy to remember. Now you'll note that for this case, I am putting a hyphen in it. That's because I want to ensure that red door. And so main commands need to have a hyphen in it, and then subcommands can be whatever you want to type, whole sentences if you wanted. Um, but the main commands need to have a hyphen in it, and um, yeah, that's just how things are. Um, so the subcommand we want to do is toggle door, like so. But what we do want to do is, in fact, um, format this, and that's because it's subcommand, and subcommands uh, with this setup is going to have to have a hash, hash toggle. So red door hash toggle, and when we type it, we don't need the hash, but it's just when we're inputting the command into the command panel, it needs to have a hash there. Um, and in uh, future videos, when we talk about how all this was built, uh, we can go into it then why that is so. So we'll go to our bottom panel, the red door panel. So our main command, and we're going to take the activation module from that and put it into the AND gate of the other, because that requires uh, us to be looking for the red door before we will open. And that's just because, you know, if you have multiple doors um, and you want to break them up like so, then, you know, you, you can't have every door toggling. Um, now we'll grab our activation module from our top panel and run it into the flip-flop, which controls the door. And we'll again run it into our feedback. So, like so. Now we'll grab our main output here, which is the middle one again. And this time we're going to put it into the red door one on the bottom, like so. So the two panels there, but we're not going to put it into the top. Instead, we'll come over to the other one on the right. And that one goes into the top ones, like so. And there we have it. So again, we have the ability to still execute our lockdown command, like so. You can see everything's locked down. And uh, I'm going to do that once more. So then we can see our door activating. All right. And now we can type our command. And I'll shift around a little bit so we can see what we're doing um, for the red door toggle door so we'll type that and you'll see it's processing and nothing happens and that's an unrecognized command and you know why because we pulled out the door from our toggle so it's just toggle as a command so you can see there that even though it has uh, it recognized the main command uh, it didn't recognize the sub command and so it went not, not not having anything of that so red door toggle so we'll type that in now and you can see processing command and command accepted, and the door's open, and we've reset again. So we can type it again. Red door toggle, processing command, 
and accepted doors closed there we go how awesome is that so we'll finally go to the blue door over here and add in a couple more so we'll go paste and paste in some modules and in this case we have three panels this one's going to be the blue door and we've got two different we got open and we got close so we'll fly to the back red doors on this one so we get to put the and gates into the two sub commands and then we want to make sure we're putting our different uh, panel sub command panels into the correct and gates to control the door so in this case the and gate on the bottom opens the door and um, whoop, what's gonna not it's not connected that's correct that's correct that's correct that's correct yes there we go so the bottom panel opens the door and so we're going to take the activation module from open and put it into the bottom we're going to take the activation module from close and put it into close so you can see now they're not changing but if i say toggle the open it's already open if i toggle the close it's closed and good oh so the last thing we need to do is take the activation modules out of the um, back of our sub panels and put it into the feedback now you'll see we don't do it with the main one and that's because we want to know when we've uh, we've messed up <laughs> so we just do it for the ones that are actually executing some kind of command so now we type blue door open and it will go process the command and nothing and that's probably because we haven't actually connected our panels again to the back so the main one goes into the main one the sub one goes into the sub ones which there are two this time yes and now we can do it so we'll type blue door open and you can see it, it toggles along there and it's opened the door and we can try to do it again blue door open and in this case it will process a command but the door's already open so but we'll do blue door close processing command and doors closed yay and we still have all our other controls so lockdown we can type it'll process lockdown happens we can also blue door open like so and we'll do red door toggle there we have it so and that is it with uh, how you can use these two templates to be able to build basic computers or basic command displays and the such um, it's really cool um, I'm really excited about just seeing what else can be built with them um, and in future videos we will be going into how they're actually built and the sort of different theory behind exactly how they work but until then my name is Bench thanks for watching bye bye